with the molecule kits. Now, I don't want to go through this all again. So, uh, James, I agree. And this was sort of the point of this, and this is why I'm glad we did it the way we did, is to see this is what Dalton did. He looked at data and said, wait a second, this data is easier to explain if we assume that matter is made of atoms. I'm going to ask that the clay be out of people's hands now. Um, so, can people quickly, on calculators, tell me what these mass ratios are? Uh, Will you? So, Actually, I'll check. 43, 3. 7.33. 7.33. What was the 5.6. 5.6. 3.83. 3.83. 1.2. And 1.2. Okay. Molecule kit people. Do you think you could easily create this from your molecule kits? No. 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 In fact, this one. The clay would be easier to use. It'd still be hard, but it would be easier. So here's the point, and this is what you answer in the energizer. If you ever got this data, then you might assume, well, maybe the molecule kits aren't so effective, but we don't get this data. The only data we get is this. And that's why Dalton said, from the data we get, it seems easier to explain with the molecule kits. So we're going to transition now to a brief Nearpod, but I feel like we're getting the idea that to explain the data, Dalton realized this was the easier way to do it. I'm going to ask you to put your clay back on your tray and molecule pieces. And the Nearpod is up in the top right corner, and I'm going to post it up here now. Um, I'm going to take these kits from you because they are oh so tempting. Thank you guys for transitioning quickly. Matter was made of atoms. So, 
We've got the theory, now we want the hypothesis. What prediction would Dalton be making based on from that chemical reactions from his theory that matter is made of atoms? In fact, 
this is exactly what he found. That usually you only get one mass of an element to combine with a given mass of a different, and that's definite proportions. Or you'll get double, triple, simple multiples of each other. I think this graph is helpful. It also relates back to what we just did with density. Um, if you look here, the point here, you can't really read this. This is hydrogen and this is oxygen. So what this is saying is, if you make water, you can use any amount of oxygen. And I don't know why this graph is going to the negative, because I don't think you can use negative 2 grams of oxygen to make water. But let's say we can use any positive amount of oxygen. And you can use any amount of hydrogen, but the amount of oxygen to hydrogen, the slope of this line, which to find a slope, we use what operation? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, division. Division, thank you. We're going to, the slope of the line, or the ratio of the line, is always going to stay the same. So that's sort of the definite proportion. You're always getting the same ratio. And if not, the slope would be exactly half that, or exactly a third of that, or exactly a quarter of that. Whereas if you could get any ratio, you could just potentially color that whole thing with any data point. So you're only getting certain relationships. Questions about this? This is like the key idea. Okay, I'm going to keep going then. Uh, this is a tricky one. Read your four answers carefully, or three answers carefully, and decide what is actually in multiple.
for a few more answers.